Now we are performing the experiment to find out the resistance of the galvanometer by half deflection method and its figure of merit. The apparatus required in this experiment, battery eliminator, then the resistance box having range of 10,000 ohm, then galvanometer, another small resistance box of the range 100 to 200 ohm and two keys. Now first of all draw the circuit diagram as you see in this particular figure and then after as per the figure we have to connect the circuit. Now connect the circuit as you see here battery eliminator to galvanometer galvanometer to key then key to large resistance box and resistance box to battery eliminator it implies that battery eliminator galvanometer key and this large resistance box these four are connected in series then after connect the key and small resistance box parallel to the galvanometer. So one terminal of galvanometer to this second key, then key to this small resistance box and another terminal of that small resistance box to galvanometer. This small resistance box connected parallel to the galvanometer that is called shunt. First keep both the keys open. Then take large resistance from the resistance box so that the galvanometer can be protected. Now insert this key K1 as you see. Then after switch on the battery eliminator and after that by adjusting the resistance in this resistance box obtain here full scale deflection it implies that deflection of 30 divisions. Now the resistance in this resistance box is adjusted such that the galvanometer shows you full scale deflection. Then after insert this key K2 and now adjusting the resistance in this small resistance box obtain the half deflection, it implies that the deflection of 15 division. Now resistance in small resistance box, it implies that the shunt is adjusted such that galvanometer shows you half deflection means the deflection of 15 divisions. Now repeat four more observations. It implies that now we have to take the deflection in galvanometer like 26, then 22, then 18, then 14 division and find out the value of shunt for the half deflection. Now in our practical EMF of the battery that is a 6 volt and number of division on full scale of the galvanometer are 30. Now prepare the observation table as you see here. Now in our experiment for high resistance value 4150 ohm we get the full scale deflection it implies that deflection of 30 divisions and when the shunt is kept at 39 ohm, we get half deflection in the galvanometer that is of a 15 division. Now repeat the experiment and take four more observations. Now for the deflection of galvanometer for 26 division, 22 division, 18 division and 14 division not down the value of a high resistance. Then after find out the value of a shunt 
for half deflection for each observation. Now carry out the calculations and calculate the value of the resistance of galvanometer G and figure of merit of galvanometer. Now resistance of galvanometer. The equation is G equal to RS upon R minus S. So as per our observations, R that is 4150 ohm, shunt that is 39 ohm. So substitute these values and calculate the resistance of the galvanometer. It comes to 39.36 ohm. Now calculate the value of G for each observation and then after take the average of it and you will get the resistance of the galvanometer. Now figure of merit of galvanometer. So the equation that is K equal to E upon R plus G into 1 upon theta ampere per division. In our case, E that is 6 volt. Now for first observation, R that is 4150 and G that comes to 39.36 and theta that is 30 division. So this is 1 by 30. Now solve it and you will get the answer for the figure of merit. Now for remaining 4 observations calculate figure of merit using this equation and then after take the average of it and you will get the resultant figure of merit of the galvanometer. Then finally write down your result. Here the mean value of the resistance of galvanometer and mean value of the figure of merit of galvanometer. Dear students, your observations will be different than we discussed here because it depends on the galvanometer which one is given to you as well as the EMF of the battery.